Hello everybody. In the last lesson we looked at global variables and in this lesson I would like to look at local variables. I think it's important for me to mention straight from the beginning that in general local variables are kind of being replaced now with with vex and, and with attributes um, but there do uh, there are some cases where local variables still apply and I will show you now how to be able to find what those local variables are and and how to use them. So uh, this will only take a minute so very quickly I want to look at say a sphere. Let's do that and I will change this to a polygon. Yeah okay good oh and I also want to add just a simple transform. There we go. Now, if you go into the help menu, which is this little kind of question mark here, this will open the help for this particular node only. So here now I've got the information for the transform geometry node. And on this page, you will find something called locals right here. And this gives me my local variables. As you can see, there's a few here. It's important to remember that not all nodes have local variables and each node that does have local variables, they will probably differ from each other. So if you're going to use local variables, you can always use this help menu here and it will be able to direct you as to what they have. For example, if I go into my sphere, and I open this. All right, uh, you will see here on this page there is nothing about local variables. That's because this sphere geometry node can doesn't contain any. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my transform, and I will show you quickly how to use them. All right, so let's again go down to our variables. Okay, here's a list of them here. And I'm trying to find somewhere on the screen to put this out. I'll just pop it here for now. And say, for example, I go into my, my handle here. I can see that I can move this sphere around using my transform node. But let me go back into the sphere, right? And this time I'm going to use the transform node to move this around. So I might move this over here. And I can see the position changing in the center here, okay? However, when I go to my transform node now and I want to transform it further, I suddenly find that it's right at the axis here in the 0, 0, 0 vector. So, hmm, now I need to be able to move this to here. And there's a way to do that using local attributes, sorry, local variables. And this is using this CEX, CEY, CEZ the centroid of the input, which basically means the, the center of the input, which of course would be right here. So in order for me to do that, let me go back here, I can go into my pivot transform, this is the pivot here, and I can just select here um, my CEX. Now remember, it's not an attribute, an attribute uses the at sign before it like just like this but it's not an attribute it's a variable uh, if you remember from the previous lesson in order to uh, create a variable we're going to use this we're going to use the dollar sign okay i'll hit enter and i can see that it's moved into the position of x which is correspondent to the center of this sphere let's also do the same thing with the Y, C, E, Y, okay, and the centroid for Z, so again, dollar C, E, X, sorry, C, E, Z, I've really got to learn my alphabet, and now I can see that everything is correct, and it's now in the center, and now I can move everything from that position as I would expect. Okay, so there's a number of things here and you can read all about them and you can check them out yourself. Um, but it's important to note that if you want to use local variables or if you need to use local variables, uh, this help menu is here to give you information. I suspect as Houdini develops, 
I suspect these local variables may eventually be completely replaced by attributes, uh, but at the time, which I'm using version 19, uh, I can say that local variables do still exist. Okay, so uh, good luck with that, and uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.